Buffy revamped? Let's review. Seven years of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in 70 action-packed minutes. Featuring Xander, Willow, J -J Giles, Cordelia, this guy, Angel, Lucilla, Buffy, <laughs> and Spoil. Alright then. How old can it be? Welcome back to another Antwoord Movie Mania and in this video I will be reviewing the acclaimed show Buffy Revamped. Now this show is performed by one man and it's written and performed by one man should I say, Brendan Murphy. Now he narrates this full show as William the Bloody Spike. He recaps seasons 1 to 7 in a full 70 minute stand up on his own. Now. Where do I start with this guy? The show lived up to its name. If you're a big fan of Buffy, this is the show to go and see. Because he done his Buffy homework. He performs the show like nothing I've seen before on stage. He really knows the characters of the show. He performs it as Buffy, Giles, Xander, Willow, Cordelia, Angel, Drusilla, Dala, and the most famous one because he's doing the full thing is Spike. And it's just balls to the wall, I kid you not. He goes through all season sevens, but he does. I don't want to spoil too much, I don't want to give too much away because if you haven't seen this show and you're a fan of Buffy, I highly recommend going. Because I went to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and I seen it there. Obviously I went to Edinburgh for my holidays. And luckily enough, I managed to see it on my birthday. So I was super happy to go see it on my birthday. And it's on for a full 70 minutes. And I just don't know how to go about it. Like... He just goes full metal. There's loads of swearing in it. It's 14 and up. You have to be 14 year old and up. But obviously with Spike, he he swears a lot in the show. There is loads of props around the set. It's like a full blown setup. And obviously I will post a picture on here to show you what the setup like. But yeah, he just he does loads of swearing as Spike would. He narrates it perfectly because he's got the characters down to a T. And he does 90, full 90s pop culture of all the things. He puts nuances in the show. He always picks out things that are happening that shouldn't be happening. And he picks out the differences where Xander is self-obsessed with himself. And if he doesn't get his own way, he throws a tantrum. Drew still is crazy and he does pick apart them kind of things. He shows Angel that's brooding and obviously with Buffy and Angel there are certain things that happen in there that he does but obviously <laughs> only a one man show can do because he can't do it with someone else so he, he reinvents ways to try and show you how season 2 goes down in Innocence. Um, but yeah overall the show is just great to watch. I mean it cost me £16 to go watch it, which is nothing. I mean, if you've got 16 quid, it ain't nothing. But yeah, the show is just super funny. There's a big song at the end. The show was packed, and I was surprised like how many, but I know that there's loads of Buffy fans out there because the show was a phenomenal success everywhere. And this guy is touring all over the place. He's in Australia. He's doing it all around the country in the UK. He's in America, he's won loads of awards for it. And the next time he's going to be here, like down the northeast way, is going to be in January. January. Where are we? January 25th in Hartlepool. Is it? Oh no, 20, January 25th in Darlington at the Hippodrome. So if you are up Darlington way, please get yourself down there because the show is an absolute blast. So it was a full 70 minutes, they had the scythe in an emergency case glass, which I found was quite funny. 
there was loads of jokes in it which obviously if you're a Buffy fan you're going to get and after the show everyone stood up the applause everyone got in on the big song at the end and everyone cheered everyone had an amazing time I wish I'd managed to get some reactions off the people that were there but I didn't have time unfortunately but after I did leave the show I did manage to buy a load of merchandise from the show itself so now I'm going to show you some of the merchandise I bought it cost me £30 which I thought was pretty decent so first off we have the Buffy revamped brochure there we go that's the guy who plays Spike there's the front there's the back I'll just show you a couple of pages like there you can see the scythe in the background there one of the quotes girls want to be me boys want to be with me and also the other way around probably which is pretty true there we have Buffy quotes I don't know if you can read them I'll leave it there for a couple of seconds if you can read them Oh, we have Spike's top five Sunnydale moments. I'll read two of them because I don't want to spoil the lot. Smashing through the Welcome to the Sunnydale Town sign as often as possible. You will notice that in season two and three. And saving the goddamn world, obviously, at the end of season seven. There we go, look, there's him dressed as Giles with the vampire book. And he does it all on stage, he doesn't go backstage, he does everything on stage, which is insane. How fast he can switch through costumes and everything. So there's our first thing. Our second thing, which he got free, is a little leaflet. Buffy revamped. There, just a little leaflet. Under the seats, they give you an emergency steak set. Little chopsticks with steaks for all the vampires out there which I thought was a little nice touch to give to the guests this is a good one got a mug angel suck spike rules nice little piece what have we got in here get a tea towel I hope this fits on the screen there we go Spike will patrol tonight. Nice little tea towel gift set. Really nice piece. And you got a nice little bookmarker for all your Buffy books. Nice little lovely piece there as well. And you got a little tote bag to put it all in. Got Buffy Giles, Willow Xander, Angel Cordelia and Spike. There we go, and that was £30 for all that, which I thought, for in Edinburgh at the time, was a good little bargain for the show. So in all, in all the show and all the merchandise cost me 46 quid, which was great because I got a load of money for my birthday, so it's practically cost me nothing anyway. But that is my overall review of the show, Buffy Revamped. Please, if you get the chance to see it, I highly recommend it. Brendan Murphy is an absolute hilarious version of Spike narrating the show from season 1 to 7 and he does mention Angel in season 5 when he does come back but that is it that is my full review of Buffy Revamped I hope you've all enjoyed it if you've watched it if you are a Buffy fan and if you have watched Buffy Revamped please let me know if you've enjoyed it because I found it hilarious and as always I am Anthony Movie Mania I would love to hear your thoughts please leave your likes your comments please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.